Hey everyone, in today's video, we'll be checking out some of the best power supplies for the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 5080. Welcome back to Ari Tech. let's jump right in. Introducing the latest NZXT C-Series power supplies, redesigned from the ground up to power the latest components. The new C-Series are compatible with ATX 3.1 and PCIe 5.1 standards, ideal for NVIDIA RTX 40 series GPUs. They also boast a compact, low-noise design with fully modular cables, so you only need to connect the cables you need. To start, take note of the plug, power switch, and zero RPM mode button on the back of the PSU. This area should be facing toward the back of your case, where most PC cases have a clear cutout with mounting holes. Make sure to install the power supply with the intake fan facing a source of fresh air. For most cases, this should be facing down. For dual chamber and side orientations, the intake fan should face away from your motherboard. Your NZXT power supply comes with all the cables you need. You can also refer to the manual for an inventory. Most systems require the motherboard power 24 pin and the CPU power 8 pin cables. Check to see if you need one or two connectors, as it differs among motherboards. If you are running additional accessories such as RGB products, liquid cooling, or additional SSDs or external hard drives, you will need SATA connectors for each device. Many GPUs use a PCIe 8-pin connector. Some require two or more. If you are installing an NVIDIA 40 series GPU, then you will need the 16-pin 12-volt 2x6 cable. It is important when installing this cable to ensure that it is fully plugged into the GPU housing and that no contacts are visible. We'll leave the cable management to you, but once you run your cables up to your various components, all that is left is to remember to flip the power switch on and start your system. When working on a PC, always remember to turn the power off and unplug it just to be safe. One more thing, keep in mind that the zero RPM fan mode is activated automatically at certain power loads. You can deactivate this mode by pressing the button on the back of the PSU. If you enjoyed the video, please click the like button, leave a comment, and subscribe to my channel.